Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Happy Star Wars Day! We found it only appropriate to bring in Alex Chiabanu of Simple Mods to show off his recent Star Wars inspired build, the Jedi Order H500P. Well, Alex, thanks for flying all the way in. Yeah, thanks for having me here. Yeah, I'm really excited to look through this mod. So first off, let's just talk about uh, your inspiration. What inspired you to make this? My inspiration for the build was the new Jedi Order Titan XP card. Okay. So I only had a 1080 Ti. So I thought of making that one look as close as possible to the Jedi Order Titan XP card. So what I did to it, actually, I had to pull the cooler off the card completely just so I don't damage the actual PCB of the card or anything. I took a very coarse sandpaper to it, scuffed it up a little bit just to get that bare aluminum showing and then I also right. use some water-based paints mainly just to make it look oily and dirty and right. then we also have a laser cut Jedi Order logo that goes over the fan as well. That's cool. Well you mentioned you have a 1080 Ti, what are the rest of the specs of the PC? So main thing is we got the Cooler Master H500P case, other than that we have a MSI X299 Gaming Carbon AC motherboard, it's an Intel i9-7900X CPU, it's using 32 gigs of RAM from A-Pacer, it's the Panther, then we also have two Samsung 960 Evo. M.2 drives in there, those are running in RAID 0, so super fast storage. Yeah. And then we also have even more storage, we've got two Seagate Firecuda hard drives in the bottom. All of the water cooling is from Bitspower, and then we're using the reservoir and the pump from Singularity Computers. And we also have the new and pretty amazing cooling from Primo Chills to view. Speaking of the water cooling, we gotta talk about that, the radiator that you have in the front, because that is yeah, not sure. a common radiator to use. Yeah, so we've got a 360 long radiator in the front that's 60 mil thick. That's the, the important one. part. Yeah, it's, it's the only one I had on hand thing. at the time. So I actually fit the reservoir where you're not meant to put it on sort of the outside of the case and then I actually had to chop the edges of the two 200 mil fans in the front of the case in order to make it fit, so. Well, I mean, that's definitely enough radiator to cool the CPU. Yeah, for sure. What did you uh, do to the outside of the case? Well, the main thing I saw is the case has clear acrylic in the front and in the mm -hmm. top as well. So I wanted to do something that you could sort of see inside the case from different angles, not just from the side panel. So given that I'm only cooling the CPU itself, I didn't need another the radiator in the top so I thought of clearing the top completely. I put a clear piece of acrylic in the top that's been laser cut and then we've got some vinyl on top of it to make it look like aluminum. Again to match the Jedi Order Star Wars card and I took a torch to the case, burned it all up just to make it look a bit distressed sort of like the, how the Jedi Order card is as well and um, I actually took a torch to the back cover as well so it's a bit twisted and then we also have this grill at the back to sort of cover the cables a bit and also makes the case yeah. look like a spaceship or something <laughs> and then I just mainly used water based paint to add all the rust effects and all that. Oh. Okay. I noticed you also distressed your cables. Yeah, so cables are from Cable Mod, and same thing as I did with the rest of the case, I also took the water-based paint and I used it on the cables as well just to make them look a bit more distressed and oily and dirty and used. And was the engraving on the front of the case laser cut? The engraving on the front of the case, I actually did all that by hand, so that was done with a micro dremel. It's very easy to do if you just print out what you want to engrave, basically stick it on the back. Mm -hmm. only works if you're using it like a transparent right. surface. So did you do the same technique on the GPU? The GPU is just using some vinyl on there and I'm using vinyl all around the case over the acrylic on the outside and on the inside as mm -hmm. well to have all the lettering and all that. That's cool. Yeah. Well, thanks Alex for coming on by. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me. Super glad you guys like the build. Yeah, no, it's awesome. I can't wait to see what you're going to do next. Well, thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed these types of videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and may the fourth be with you.